Welcome back to Ad Infinitum, everybody. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode. So after editing and thinking about it a little bit, I'm still unsure if we're Johannes or the mom, but I... The more that I think about it, the more, like, after I edit it and all that, I think we're actually playing Johannes' spirit, or at least one of the son's spirits. So, not really sure. But uh, the telephone's ringing now, and there are wet marks on the floor. That's just great. Let's see if we can get to the telephone. Ooh, that's different. So they told us not to use the red candles kind of after the fact. Um... So, yeah, we kind of screwed up. Where's that phone at? Oh, it must be upstairs. Okay. Okay, so what are our objectives right now? Find a way into the music room. Don't like that. Okay, so... There's a lot of just... gross yelling. So is this the music room? Okay, I assume. Let's follow these tra- What the heck was that? Are we gonna follow it? Oh, there's the phone. that. So are we supposed to follow this? Hold on, I gotta check. Find a way in the music room. So we just gotta figure out how to get in there. Hello? It's locked. I don't like the way this is sounding. There's the bathroom. Hello? Great. I did not close that. Oh no. There's the red ball. See, there's our hand, like... With the scars on it? <laughs> oh... Okay, so we're back on the battlefield. Looks like we need to go this way. Um, maybe we're back on the battlefield. Okay. What is that? So we have to be Johannes, right? So we're like going back and forth between the real world and there's the Mother of Sorrows. The real world and... Um, or, well... I assume that the house is like a, either a figment or we're haunting the house or something, but this is maybe memories? I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out, though. I don't want to speculate too much. Nothing over here. Those were this? soldiers in the church. I'm sure of it. I heard the screams of women when our gas shells hit. The others say I'm imagining things, but I know what I heard. I think Rosala knows too. He was the one who fired the shells, and his face was as white as chalk afterward. I shall go and look tonight. I need to know for sure. Huh. So they bombed a church that supposedly had soldiers inside, but they heard women. That's not good. I mean, the horrors of war, man. Like, the things that people went through. World War One, World War Two. I mean, any war, really, but those are the two that I know the most about. It's just... It's sad. It's really sad, some of the stuff that people had to go through. 
Okay, so do we just move these? I'll push it maybe. There we go. Okay, it's stuck under here. Pickaxe. A pickaxe is a perfect tool for demolishing brittle wooden boards and rotting walls that might stand in your way. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's going to let us know what walls are breakable. Okay, let's look over here real quick. I just want to make sure we find everything, so I want to understand what's going on. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Is this the church? I don't know what that says, but I can't imagine it's something good. Okay. It's so quiet. Nothing over there. Seek refuge with the Blessed Mother. Come to the church. So we're walking through like the things that people would have saw whenever they were trying to tell them to get to the church because it was safe. Okay, let's look over here real quick before we break that. It doesn't look like there's anything here. There's the church. Okay. I need to look around. I need to search everything. See if I can find... Okay, so there's a wall we can... We can pickaxe there. What was that noise? Okay, let's go back over here. So is that what... I feel like it's the same beginning dialogue that we heard whenever we woke up in the first episode. I'm not really sure. The enemy's gone to ground in the church. But we're like hearing things from the real world. So what did they bring back that wasn't their son? Just a kid's toy. Okay, that's our ball. We need to get into the attic, I think. Nothing here. Let's take a look in here real quick. So there's another pickaxe wall there. There's a couple. 
Um, I don't want to get too close to the church. I might go back to the other one. Oh, there's more. Civilians fritter their time away on such nonsense. What a load of junk. That is very fair. Is this? We hardly have anything to eat. We have even had to dismiss Frau Adler. And my dear Frau Bruegel. Oh, because Karl and his maniac started this horrible war. Paul has also traveled to the front now. But I have not heard from him. He is just like his father. But my Johanna still writes to me. I am counting the days until I have him back. He doesn't want to come back to our house because of Carl. Maybe he will go away with me. Perhaps to saint Balbine. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the other wall real quick. I feel like that's the way we have to go to progress. But there's this one back here. Well, maybe. No, maybe not. Maybe this is... Okay, yeah, let's go through here. I thought this might take us around to the church, but it looks like it might just be a dead end. So let's, let's check this one out. Okay. Pastor's note in French. Everything is in ruins. It looks like... It looks almost like some unspeakable, unstoppable creature is torn through our village. The survivors will seek refuge in our church. I'll do my best to protect them. Lord, preserve us. So that's what actually happened. They went to the church to seek refuge. But... It wasn't safe. Okay, let's go back over to the other spot. Okay. Let's see what we've got through here. Can I get through? There we go. Got stuck. I don't want to hit these cans. I feel like if I hit the can, something bad's going to happen. There we go. Got through there. Wait. What is through here? Oh, right here. Okay. Go up here and across. What is that noise? Okay. I don't like that noise, whatever it is. Sounds like something's eating flesh or something. Okay. Let's go up the ladder. Nothing there. So we can see anyway. Can I get up and over this? Come on. I don't want to go through those. It's going to attract whatever's eating that. No. No. Let me go over this, please. Let me go around it. It won't let me. Let's see if we can sneak through, I guess. I knew it. Please don't. Oh, thank God. Oh, he ran away. Okay, so there's a wall there. There's a note here. Pastor's note. Everything is in ruins. It looks like some of these people in some Okay, so that's the same note. So just in case we missed it before, I guess. Okay. All right. So what was that thing eating? Sense of rotting flesh is unbearable. Can alarm system. Something came creeping through the trenches last night. At first we could only hear it, but this morning we found tracks. Barefoot ones. Maybe it was an escaped Frenchie, or one of our comrades playing a prank on us. Of course. 
Whoever it was, we're going to tie up some empty cans on some string. There'll be quite the commotion. There, there will be quite the commotion next time someone runs into them. EF. Okay. So that's why they put up the, uh, the can alarms, because something was creeping around. Whether it was somebody playing a joke or not, they wanted to catch whatever it was. Okay. Let's go ahead and break this down. Okay, here's something else over there. Can't see it. I wonder if I can sneak under. Yeah. Can't see it over there. No. Must be on the other side of that wall. Oh, okay, it's right there. Can't really see too much of it, <laughs> but it's over there. Okay. All right, let's get through here. Surprise! The sound of us knocking down those walls hasn't attracted it or done anything. Okay, well, I have a bad feeling about this. We're gonna end up down there, aren't we? Oops, not yet. Oh, no! 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 There was a shovel in there. Do I need the shovel? No! <laughs> okay, well, I guess it wasn't meant to be... It doesn't look like he had enough time, really, to open them or get the shovel. That's okay. Where is this thing at? Oh, it's above. Okay. Should be all right. Anything here? No. Let's just go. Let's just go. Okay. Anything down here? No. Keep quiet, the hunger creature is very sensitive to noise in some situations, however, it can be advantageous to use noises to distract it. Well, how do I know what situations those might be? Okay, there's another one there. There's two of them there. There's three of them there. Great. Okay. Well, that's not good. have to avoid them, I guess. I didn't make any noise. What did I do? Stand up? Sorry that I stood up. Oh no. So weird. Are they just going to go to where they heard the noise? What the heck? Okay, that one went back. Okay, now what's going to happen when I break this? Run! Oh gosh. Can they come through here? I don't think they can. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think. I could be completely wrong. There might be another way around, but they know that I don't know. What's this? You don't want to know what's under there. 
think I know what's under there. Let's just keep going. So this is obviously like a, uh, obviously a hallucination. Or maybe like the afterlife for Johannes. Maybe this is like his purgatory. Or just like dreams of the war and like it's convoluted because of his dreams. I don't know. There we go. It's a gun. Oh no, man, way to play with my emotions. That's not good. Siren, hold to wind up the siren, release to start the siren, the sound can lure enemies. I don't want to lure enemies. I was right. By God, there were civilians in the church. I tried to tell our newly minted Leutnant what I saw, but he didn't want to hear it. He laughed. He said I shouldn't act like such a crybaby in front of the men, and the Supreme Army Command know what they are doing. But he knows I warned him about the church. I don't recognize him anymore. What have they done to him? I shall try to talk to the doctor. Perhaps there are survivors. So JVS, is that us? Is that Johannes? I think so. I think that is us. Okay, I don't want to do this. Like, why would I do that? That sounds awful. I don't want to lure enemies. Okay. Take this nice and slow. Am I going to have to get over there? Maybe. Wait, I don't know. I keep, keep asking so many questions to myself that it's like watching a movie with somebody like, what happens? What happens? What happens? It's like, I don't know. I've never seen the movie before. Let's just get through here. I didn't make a noise. I didn't make a noise. What are you talking about, my guy? I was silent like a mouse fart. It's fine. I don't think he can get through there. I hope not, anyway. If I turn around, he's crawling through that. I'm going <laughs> to freak out. A small shrine to the Holy Mother. A load of su superstitious nonsense, in your opinion. Okay. All right, let's get through here. Okay. Okay, so there's more, quite a few creatures over there. This one that's dead here. What do these things look like? Like horrifying. Little demons. Something. It was just a spot to teach me how to do it. Okay, so are they're gonna come across there, right? They're gonna... But where do I need to go whenever that happens? Oh, I guess I could go under there? Unless they jump off, man. If they jump off, that's gonna suck. Crap. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. I'm glad they didn't run <laughs> down and around that way. I didn't even think about that. I was like, they're obviously just going to go over into the right. <laughs> if they would have ran down the other way, I would have been screwed. There's another. There's a couple. There's a lot of them. Wow. Is this what we're... 
wonder if this is like what we think of the enemy maybe or maybe it's what we think of our own like troops since we kind of killed a bunch of people in the church and there they are The name of the church was Notre Dame. The elderly must have refused to leave their village and sought shelter with Our Lady instead. Where was she? What will she do to us when she discovers what we have done? And what about us? What of our own fates? The front devours all before it, and we have turned the world into hell on earth. Only the devil hears our prayers. Hmm. So those things try to attack us. What is making that noise? It's coming from up above us. That's fine. Um, boy, it's dark. So that those things tried to attack us and then the big one came and pulled it off, but I don't think it was trying to save us. I think I had other plans, and it wanted to be the one to rip us into pieces. Oh, that's just fantastic. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Yup. Boy, it's really dark. Can I pick up... Oh, no, they're just lights lighting the way. Okay. It'd be really nice if we could just pick one of these up. It would make sense, right? No. Oh, I don't like that. Can I take this? I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it looks like we could beat something with it. Was this taking us back out? Okay. Alright. Take a helmet. No. Pickaxes. Yeah, I'm going to keep a... Uh, Try to sneaky sneaky here, so I don't want to attract anything to the front. Wait. Don't like that. Those are those creatures, right? There's a bird. To the catacombs. Enter dugouts to hide from enemies. Okay. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Which way do I go? Church Street. This looks like a dead end. Yeah. I don't want to have to hide from enemies. Please don't make me do that. Who the heck is that? That they were like alive just sitting there, but dog tag Richard Michalski Pinsk 3 1193. So 
Listening post. Wait. I thought I heard something walking. Okay, we're good. Heard the Frenchman shouting for hours. He had got stuck in the barbed wire after taking fire. Another French soldier went out and tried to help him. The new lieutenant had his field glasses on him and gave us the order to shoot. Otto missed deliberately, as most of us do. But the new lieutenant noticed. He said Otto will be the first over the top the next time we make a push. The Frenchman failed to free his comrade from the wire and went back to his trench. I could still hear the poor man wailing for the next three nights. Once no man's land has you in its clutches, it never lets you go. And that's so true. Like, there's so many stories about that. Like, just an awful place to be during World War One. Like, I, that, I don't know how anybody did it. I bet he's not even got hair on his balls yet. <laughs> mm, better not get those boots dirty. I thought we were gonna get chased. I'm on edge right now. <laughs> okay, so there's barbed wire there. Okay. I don't like the whole hide in the dugout to hide from enemies and then there being multiple without a, an enemy. It's like, I don't know where it's going to come from or when. I go up in here. No. Okay. I'm just gonna keep creeping though, because just just in the off chance that we could set it off by like running, I don't want to get chased. I'd rather just take it slow. <laughs> There's something over there. I don't want to have any part of it. We'll just go down here. I can hear something. Man, this keeps going down. I wonder if we should have gone up top first. Okay, that's a drop off. I need to go up top first. I don't want to get trapped down there and miss something up here. Okay. There's definitely something there. That's not dead. Or maybe it is. I, mm, I don't trust it. Okay, yeah, that that's gas. Okay, yeah, I can't go through there. Uh, the dead body should have been a deterrent. But I'm an idiot. So let's get let's get back down here. Okay. So we're gonna probably have to drop off of this. Yeah. There we go. Boy, I hope this gate opens. Okay, it's a push. Okay. No, 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 no. Nobody saw or heard a thing. This is the this is where we started out. This is this is the spot we started with the uh the Morse code and Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys can go back to eating now, please. Morse code. Hold the code dial in place for a short time to enter the number. Turn the dial again and enter the next number. Oh, wrong button. Okay, I need to figure out what the code is before we start that. I spoke to him. But I don't know if he understood what I was saying. Okay. The letters blur before your eyes. Nevertheless, with a little effort, you managed to decipher them. All trench stations. Operation Morgan Ground. So that's from before. Someone is sending a Morse code. That means someone out there, someone is out there. 
three seven. Or two seven. There we go. Crap. Oh no. Can we get down here through here? Oh boy. Yes. Okay, cool. Come on. Run. No, no, no. No! Gosh. Get off me, jerk. Go. 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 Oh my gosh. I don't like that. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on a second. Objectives. Establish radio contact. Okay, well, do I have to go back down there to do that? Because I really don't want to... To the front. I don't want to go to the front either. Oh. Okay. No entry. To the crater. Crater. That's meant to be our new lightning. Someone should wipe that smug grin off his face. I give him two weeks in the trenches. He won't be laughing then. He'll be off back home to mummy in no time. In a wooden box, most likely. <laughs> Lay off, lads. Give him a chance, at least. Okay. So they're talking about us, or are we Johannes? Like, I, I still don't know. I think we're Johannes. I really do. Unless we're this kid that they're talking about, but... Why would we be haunting Johannes's mom or whatever? All right. Max Schmeid. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce those. So, 1879. Okay. Soldier. Julius Hobbler, Annenberg, 86. In the plane, more than likely. Move on, man. Yeah, let me look for more bodies. I'm looking for dog tags. Okay, fine. I'm stuck in here. What are you waiting for? <laughs> ah! No! I... Ah! Ah! Oh no! Heard him again. I know what they are. What are they? Please tell me. Orders. Flight X three four five. Reconnaissance flight X three four five. Classified. Contact between Supreme Army Command and Western Front broken down. Cause unknown. Report immediately upon return from reconnaissance flight. Due to the likelihood that the enemy has managed to infiltrate our operations at home, contact with Supreme Command must be established by the pilot personally during using the telephone system in the command bunker. Trust no one. The Kaiser is counting on you. So do we have to get to the telephone bunker? So why can't I get into that? Why is that locked off for us? 
wonder if that's going to be open later. Okay. Let's keep going. Where are we at now? Keep your head down. Okay. Keeping my head down. Yeah, it's fine. Doesn't seem like any gunfire. We should be okay. Okay, there's another helmet. Richard Rossengall, Waterless, 79. Maurice Schaefer, Le, Le Havre, Le Havre, 79. It's even more. Postcard from Eric, my darling. Soon we shall walk together once more, hand in hand, through the Stad Stadwalt Forest in fall. I shall be yours again. And you, mine. And Cologne shall have us, have both of us, as it should be. I hope you are looking forward to it as much as I am. As much as I. I am counting the days. Sometimes I hear the sound of a twin whistle wafting you, wafting over from the French trench. Then I think of you. And I know all will soon be well again. Give my mama a kiss from me. Yours, Eric. October 9th, 1917. Eric Fassbender. Is that S? S? Fassbender. Cologne. He won. So I guess Eric didn't make it. Was Eric our brother? I can't remember. Caution enemy fire. I can't remember. So it was Johannes? I think Eric was. I think it was Eric. Muddy path. Thanks. Rene Laboule, Orly, 85. So many of these dog tags. I wonder if these are like supposed to be memories of the people that we knew, but it looks like there's two different kinds. I assume it possibly like the German side and the French side. So it couldn't really be, unless you knew people from both sides, you know? Marcel Passman, Corbivier, 85. Don't know how to say that. <laughs> terrible with this kind of stuff. Machine gun position is blocked off. If the enemy attacks, you'll be helpless. You used to love making them dance. The Spandau Ballet. Huh. Okay, looks like we can go down there. I'm gonna go back and check out another spot too before we uh, head down there. Remy Michaud, Paris, 93. So those would be the French ones. Then the ones that are that look different than that are the German ones. Rosala's shock. Rosala won't last much longer. I saw it in his eyes as he snuck off to the church with our radio operator. I think I know what he saw. It was him who fired the gas shells at the church. Now he trembles all the time. I see him fiddling with his rifle. I'm going to ask the new commander to transfer him out before it's too late. Okay. N nay. So I'm going to go down here first. Because the other part looks like it's a way out. So, hopefully we don't miss anything by coming down here. Okay. The loot... Loot not frustrated. I tried to tell the loot not what was going on with Rosala. He shouted at me, or tried to, at least. No wonder no one talks to the little brat seriously. Unfortunately, no one wants to cross him either, or will get punished for insubordination. If there's one thing Von Schmidt is good at, it's telling his superiors what a mess they're making of everything out here in the mud. He takes his frustration out on us because he knows this isn't the war they told him about in his picture books. The front is a meat grinder, and Rosala is going to be its next victim. It's from the same guy as above, and then my guy. Okay. Let's look over here first, see if there's anything here. Looks like somebody's bunk. Nothing back here. Okay. Anything in here? No. Okay. We just worry about that now, you know. Oh, that's not good. 
Richard Rosala. Waterwell, Calm, 79. So that's the guy from the notes that he was talking about. The guy who launched the, uh, mm -hmm. the gas into the, the church. Note, not fit for duty. The ro note reads, fit for active duty. Or fit for duty. Note. <laughs> By order of Lieutenant Von Schmidt. Okay. So is that how he died? Wrapped in barbed wire? Okay. Alright. Well. So we know that he actually didn't make it out. Okay, let's get back to the other spot. Here we are. All out of breath because I sprinted over here. <laughs> so what's this? Path of the hero still? Okay. Still just going to take my time. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to attract any creatures if there's any just randomly around. Okay, I got a door. Did they run out of real men? Everything's getting smaller these days. Leutemann, he's nothing but a little prince playing dresser. A milksop for an officer. They don't give a rotten turn about us. Damn it. Damn it all. We used to eat runts like him for breakfast back at school. The upper class is here in the trenches. The rats will be delighted. Have we got any more canned milk? He'll need to grow up big and strong if he wants to make Daddy proud. Company, attention! 27 men present and correct, Herr Leutnant. Okay. So they're talking about us? You can't get in there? But it's open. Why not? Okay. Officer's mess room is locked. Are you trying to duck out of your responsibility? <sighs> okay, fine. I don't know what that sound is. Why does everyone seem to think I have some kind of influence over our new lieutenant in the chain of command? Do they think I can stop the churning of the war machine with my bare hands? As much as it pains me to say it, the only thing we have in common is our accursed name. Wait. The lieutenant has the same name as us? That Von Schmidt or uh, Johannes, maybe? As if these damned trenches, this damned war, weren't enough. Now the curse of my name has followed me too. From our home out here to the front. Everyone can sense it. It creeps through the trenches. Stalking us. The only one who cannot see it is our new lointment. Hmm. I'm trying to figure that out. I must have missed something. So I can't... Oh, I can go through here. There's also a spot over here I can go to. Let's look in here real quick. Okay. List of records. List of Shellac records. Robert Sherman... Johannes Brahms, Richard Wagner, Otto Reuter, Claire Waldorf, Freddy Estontico, Estontico. Doctor's complaint. Dear comp company fearer, we lost a whole cart of medical supplies. Lieutenant von Schmidt, I beg of you, allow me to conduct a search of the morphine at least we need all the doses we can get I would also like to take this opportunity to inform you that I have submitted an official complaint against you your order to stop declaring soldiers unfit for active duty as enforced in the case of unter off hold on a second 
I gotta turn this off. Okay. All right, anyway. As enforced in the case of Unterofizer, Rosala, under officer, I guess is what it, I don't know, is irresponsible and demoralizing for both the soldiers in question and their comrades. I would also ask that you refrain from referring to me as Dr. Eisenbarth. To liken me to a character from a childish song is insulting, and a habit that has already been picked up by some of your men, much to the dismay of myself and my staff. With respect, Dr. Weidenbach. September 7th, or September 9th, 1917. So, Von Schmidt, so the lieutenant's last name is what followed him. It's his new lieutenant, our new lieutenant, new lieutenant, because our last name is Von Schmidt as well. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything in this room here. So this be the French side now, right? Unless we captured that flag and brought it over. I don't like all this knocking. Knocking from there? That's not... Jeez, it's loud. Oh gosh, I don't like it. North. Is that you, soldier? Was that you by the plane? Yes. My eyes. I can't see a thing. But they cannot deceive me anymore. It's all lies. None of it is true. None of it! Okay. Supreme Army Command. We must inform Supreme Command. Okay. The Kaiser needs to know what's happening here. The war isn't over. The enemy is here. Okay. Well, we're gonna lay you down here, buddy. You're gonna you're gonna take a nap. Just close your eyes. I mean, you don't really have to. <laughs> we have to win the war. Do you hear? For the fatherland and for ourselves. Don't listen to the traitors and deserters. Please, you have to help me. Give me something to calm my nerves. Something for the pain. There's a medical transport to the north. Please. I... My eyes. Okay. My eyes. The enemy. They were in my head. Okay, so we're going to try to find something for him, for the pain. So there's something to the north. Brewery steps. And this is the north, I believe. He's still talking back there. I just completely left him. He doesn't know I'm not there, though. He can't see anything. All right. Latrine duty. The lieutenant has put Weber, Casper, and myself on latrine duty for three weeks. We didn't do anything. It seems we had a row with the radio operator. A family quarrel, perhaps. In any case, he has chosen us as the targets for his wrath. He called us cowards. We didn't even hear what they were arguing about. Casper cried all night. 
First, his fiance stops writing him. Then three weeks of latrine duty. He doesn't deserve this. Rudy Loman. I think we found, didn't we found hit, find his dog tags. Can we look at the dog tags? Backpack. Tools. Documents. No. Yeah, find morphine for the pilot. No, we can't look at the dog tags. Okay. That's a shame. The train smells like it too. Duty roster. Duties for the next week. Sweeping. Uh, so kitchen. Duties for the next three weeks. The trains. Yeah. Okay. Just the duty roster. It's a, it's a very true duty roster. Flooding. Where is all this water coming from? If it goes on like this, we will surely all drown here. Janssen says he used he's used to it from back home, the old sea dog. But I doubt there is there are as many rats in the Baltic. Disgusting creatures. And they bite too. Fed Webble Brower. Yeah, I want to go around this way. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought there might be like a full path here. I didn't want to go through the water, but they did just talk about flooding, so that makes sense. Hunger in the trench. We've had nothing but bad luck ever since the new officer arrived. Bad luck and starvation. I could eat a horse. Janssen cooked a rat that bit him. His legs all swollen up. He actually ate the creature, too. I couldn't stomach it. Makes me sick to think what the hunger is doing to us. Fed Wibble Brower. It's the same one. Same guy as a second ago. Okay. Well, it loaded us through this wall here, so... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure if we're going to find that morphine for Mr. Man. What do we have to do now? Just find the morphine. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can find it. The boy will go far. Father always said so. It was his dying wish. Your father is gone. He built this house for himself. No one else. Nicht defender of all places. Also, he could send your harness to the Cadet Academy. And now Paul, too. More ass. More soldiers. That's all I was ever good for. The Academy would have done your harness the power of good. You've seen for yourself what your coddling has done to him. It's a disgrace. So... So our brother's name was Paul, not Eric. So I got that wrong a little bit ago, but that's okay. That's okay. So there's some horses here that we said we could eat a little bit ago. We're so hungry. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. 